Hey guys, before I jump into today's game against Best Spot, I did just want to reassure you that yes, yesterday's video was indeed an April Fool's joke, as many of you correctly suspected. I'm not giving up Scrabble or giving up making Scrabble content on YouTube anytime soon. There's nothing I enjoy more than playing the game and sharing my passion for it with you guys, so please rest assured that this is and will continue to be Mac Miller's Scrabble channel and not Mac Miller's chess channel. I even wore my Mac Miller's Scrabble channel hat just to reassure you guys of that fact. Now, that being said, I do enjoy chess a lot and do have goals to get better. That part of it was true. So maybe I'll mention chess once in a while on my videos just to spice things up. But like I said, this is absolutely going to continue to be a Scrabble channel and not a chess channel. So please do not be alarmed. And with that all said, let's get back to Scrabble and hopefully beat Best Spot today. Hey guys, and welcome to game number 82 out of 100 of my Human vs. AI series, where I'm taking on the AI-powered Scrabblebot Best Spot in a 100-game match. It's been rough going lately, three losses in a row, I haven't been playing that well, so really need a good game today to get back on track, get back to 10 games away from the bots record. Currently sitting at 35 wins, 46 losses, so 11 games back, getting dangerously close to the bot getting 50 wins, which would clinch the series for it. Well, I guess 50 and a half technically, but there's no way I'm going to catch the bot on the spread at this point, being down 1600 and change. So really 50 and 50 would clinch it for the bot, but... Still uh, still some hope left, although the bot emptying with emptily for 84 is uh, not going to help. I should still be bingoing here, though, I think. I mean, I have a herring on my rack. I guess air thing through the T, if nothing else. 66, but I want to spend a little more time here and make sure I'm not... Oh! Hair grip for 92. And that is why you don't play the first thing you see, guys. Because that is uh, a lot better than 66. So, all right, a lot of fireworks there to start things off. Both blanks gone in the blink of an eye. I'm up eight points, and Bop plays Vug immediately, pretty much, getting rid of some clunky tiles. And honestly, not a terrible draw for me here. Both Fs, but sometimes that can be clunky. Sometimes it can be pretty good for scoring, as there are a lot of words with two Fs next to each other. I'm not really sure what I have here, though. Just, I don't really have anything next to hair grip. I can't play off because AF is not good. Huh. Yeah, I guess I maybe play Thief over here. It's 25 points. It does keep both O's, which is not great. But I do set up a couple of S hooks, which is nice, both with Thiefs and with Ifs. And I do have an S. So I don't hate that. I guess I could also play Fifes. 36. 11 more points. It's not crazy. I mean, 11 points for an S. I do give back some counterplay above the F, though, on the 8 row, so there is that drawback. It's a close call. I think I would lean towards Thief, probably, just to try to make the S as valuable as possible. Like, if, I don't know, generally, if I have a play that really makes my S valuable, I would lean towards that over spending the S. I don't want to play Foo, because the F, the second F just really puts a damper on my bingo chances. I do set up it, my second F with if, IFF, but like, what am I going to do there? Play if and if for 30? Like, that's just not high enough scoring play to set yourself up for. Like, that's the thing. I probably average 30, 35 points anyway on this board just because of how often I bingo. So trying to set yourself up for a 30-point play is rarely a good strategy because you're setting yourself up for an average play. Like, you're averaging just as much without, without the setup. So just doesn't really have a lot of merit, I don't think. So yeah, leaning towards Thief, maybe Fifes. I don't see anything else really with hair grips that looks good. So yeah, it's probably between those two. Like I said, it's, it's close. I can kind of live with either of them, to be honest. 11 is a bit more than the S is traditionally valued at. Usually the S is valued at like 8 or just a tiny bit over that. But the F, the S is a very valuable tile after Fief, so I think I am going to go with it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I draw, I guess, five consonants, or four consonants, B, G, R, W, but not Terrible draw. I don't think I'll be bingoing here, but I do have some options. If I really want to be aggressive, I guess I could play something... Actually, no, never mind. I can't play anything there. Uh, let's see. What do I have here? Not all that much. Yeah, I was thinking I could play like under the F, but then I realized F-O is not a word, so I can't do something like this. Okay, bot plays Mort for 24. 
Any double doubles through the LI? Like almost bowling or something like that, but I don't think I have anything there. Anything with hair grips? I mean, I could just play WOS for 31. Doesn't feel like a great use of my S, though. Anything maybe through the YE? Almost goodbye, actually, but not quite. Anything through the letters and hair grip? Not really. I could also play Browse over here, keeping OG. That doesn't seem particularly exciting. Yeah, I can't underlap Fief, like I said, because FO is not good. Really just not a whole lot of options here. Doesn't feel like that bad a rack, but there are shockingly few good plays. Yeah, I'm kind of just between WOS and I don't even know what. Like, there's just nothing good that doesn't use the S if I'm not missing it. What am I going to do above this YE? I'm not going to do this. I mean, this also takes an L. It's just not worth the risk. At this point, like it's basically an even game. I don't need to take those kind of chances. I think I am just going to play WOS. I mean, I don't really see any. There's no way to score more than like 15 points without using my S, I don't think. Which is kind of hard to believe, but there just really is very, very little to do. There's nothing good through the A or the I in hair grip. So, alright, yeah, let's just play WOS. There's still three more S's left, so I'm not too worried about getting rid of it. And, alright, still still struggling to get a good rack here. Probably try to play Bigot or something. Biog. We'll see. Depends a lot on what the bot does, I suppose. Still don't have much to this LI. I keep looking for double-doubles. Like, if I draw an N, I'd have Boiling or Broiling or something. An N would be a really good tile to get. The bot just plays Bill for 10. So the bot, not exactly drawing too well either, which is certainly a welcome sight for me. And I still don't have a whole lot of good options here. I mean, I, I still don't think I have anything through this YE. Still no goodbye or boogie or something, you can't spell it like that. Anything, there's just nothing through this LI. Wow. I don't see anywhere to play Bigot or Biog. I guess I could play Forgot for 20, maybe? Opens a bit up, which I'm not dying to do. But it does at least turn over some tiles. Anything with twos? It's like nothing. I mean, Todd is terrible. Gives back an A hook with eight A's unseen. Wonder if I can extend Bill. Like Bill Bug is good, but I don't have a U. There's just so little to do here. It's crazy. Like shockingly little to do. I mean, I'm not gonna do this. This just seems incredibly reckless and not worth it for 16 points. Maybe Blog? Is that terrible? I don't think it's terrible. I mean, it's not the Best four tile leave, but I do at least save the T for twos if I can hit a bingo there. I give basically nothing back to the bot. Block the H a little bit, in case the bot was close to a bingo there. I guess I could also play through the H with something like Bright, but that keeps two O's. I'm not really dying to do that. I guess turnover also isn't that important with both blanks already gone so early. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play Blog. Like, I have a small lead. I'd rather... You know, just kind of chill and leave it tight rather than force it open with forgot, leaving VI. And I have the T for twos. I think this is fine. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Now I pull five vowels, and all right, valet comes down immediately for the bot. So bot takes a little bit of a lead. I guess I'll probably now have to play through that V. Maybe something like Viator or something. I don't see anything shorter that has a lot of merit, and I do need to. Score some points here. So yeah, I think let's just play Viator, keep OE, hope to get a more balanced rack on my next turn, but we'll see. Man, still five vowels. And the bot plays queen for 48. So last couple of turns have not gone well for me at all. And yeah, the problem is I just, I can't really score anything now. 
So I have all these E's and one pointers. Yeah, that was a really, really poor draw. I might have to do something like this. That seems kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just too easy for the bot to block the end. And I've taken away my S hook on Thieves too. Yeah, no, that's just not going to cut it. I might have to just like play off OE or something for... 10 and hope to bingo next turn. I think this might be the best play. Like, I just really need to bingo down. I mean, I'm only down 70, so if I can bingo, it's an even game, more or less. See, like, I just don't think this is a good play. Like, the pool is well-balanced enough. The bot's going to have something decent through the end, and then I've just completely blocked off that whole right-hand side of the board. Like, it's you got to think a turn or two in advance, right? Like, short-term, like, this looks really open and aggressive, but in the long run, if the bot just plays, say, like, Zin or whatever for 36 down the O column, or it doesn't have to be Zin, just, like, anything to that end, I'm probably not going to be able to have counterplay on column N very easily, and now the whole right-hand side of the board is closed down to bingos, which is exactly what I don't want at this deficit, and I have that nice S hook with Thiefs available, so it's just going to lead to a more closed board in the long run, even though maybe in the immediate term it might create an opening. It's just going to be used by my opponent. It just doesn't really make sense after the next turn. So I think, yeah, I'm still just leaning towards playing OE, honestly, because I don't see a good way to get rid of three vowels other than Aeon. And I do want to keep my N. The N is a good bingo tile here. So yeah, I think as much as I hate fishing, I just can't really score. I guess I could, it's pretty aggressive. I could do this. But again, it's too easy for the bot to just score, I think, under that A. And I don't want to let the bot get ahead by more than a bingo. So I think I'm just going to play OE, like I said, and really hope to hit a bingo on my next turn. <sighs> Dang, just not hitting it. Another A. Yeah, I mean, this is part of why I hate fishing like this. But sometimes when you're down this much, you just kind of don't have a choice. And you have to hope to get lucky. I need an M for Maynadies. M-A-E-N-A-D-E-S but probably not going to get it. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm going to do here. All right, the bot plays freehold. At least I get bailed out a little bit. I'll have a nice scoring play of Dean hooking the E. I mean, that has to be best. I got a score here. I'm down over 90 points. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, man. Just can't draw anything. WU now out of the bag on a four-tile pool. Yeah, it's frustrating. I mean, I've... I started out really well with hair grip, and I just have got, gotten just nothing since then. Absolutely nothing. But, I mean, it's still not over. I'm down 56, so I still just need one bingo, and it's an even game. But I'm going to need to draw better than this. I do have a nice scoring play, though, of wield for 43, if that were to stay open. And I still have queens, the R and Viator, and thieves. So I have bingo lines. Like, I'm not... Yeah, racks for 42. The bot is scoring a lot of points. I mean, wield is absolutely forced. I have to score. Now, I open the bottom two at least, so I do create some more threats. Yeah, just not going to bingo here, though. Puke. The good thing about Thiefs is if the bot doesn't have an S, it's kind of annoying for it to block it, because if it tries to play above the YE, it's probably going to just give me back more counterplay. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm hanging on by a thread here. If the bot doesn't block the bottom, I can at least get down puke to score and clean up my rack. But I would imagine the bot is going to do whatever it can to block down there. It might not have anything, though. I mean, there's only two E's left. I guess there are two O's. But we'll see what it does. Okay, it just plays new for 22. So it takes out Queen's. I think puke has to be right. I mean, I've got to score. I've got to get rid of some of these tiles. I don't see merit to just playing uke. I think I need the nine extra points. The P is not a bad tile for bingoing, but also it's a fairly constant heavy pool, right? If you look on the right, guys, 15 consonants versus just eight vowels. So actually getting rid of my extra consonant there and keeping two vowels in one consonant is not a bad thing at all. And yeah, those nine points could really come in handy if I want to stay within range. So yeah, I think puke has to be correct here. I mean, all my decisions have been fairly easy, which I'm at least thankful for. Now I draw the Z. So that's not going to help me bingo, but maybe I can at least score with it. Ah, well, that's probably GG. I mean, Hayes, I guess, is forced. 
It's a lot of points. There's still two in the bag. I mean, the bot's probably just going to block on column N, unless it can't somehow. Like, maybe if it doesn't have the S, it might have a hard time blocking, actually, with, I mean, UH is good. Maybe I have some outside chances here if I can get a bingo and the bot can't really block. Problem is, if it can block it all, I don't know where else I'm going to bingo. Maybe on row 13, I can hit something. Maybe ending in, like, EN or Scanter. Like, if I draw Scanter, maybe I have some chances. I don't know. I mean, Hayes has to be correct, right? Unless... Is there merit to playing the S? Like, there's a couple extra points. I wonder if I need those points. Leaves two... In, well, Hayes leaves two in the bag. Hayes leaves one in the bag. 48, so I'm down 110. That gets me to within, what, 62? I mean, if the bot empties the bag... I guess the bot could play, like, Curry or something down the N column, or the L column, and maybe just outrun me. See, that's that's what I'm worried about. Like, am I... Or Sank, even. C-I-N-Q. I just wonder if I get outrun too much with this. Like, if the bot has Sank, it's 45 points, so it's going to be up 107. There's no way I'm scoring enough, right? I mean, even if I hit Trances, that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 85... I don't think the bot is going to have... Yeah, no, the bot's not going to have enough. But if I play Hazes, then maybe I can outrun it. This is actually not trivial. It's tough to say. I mean, the bot might not have Sank, though. Like, if it if the N is in the bag or something. I guess if the N is in the bag, if it doesn't have Sank, maybe can I outrun Curry? Because Curry would be 6, 7, 8, 9, 13, 26, 33. So I'd be down 95. The bot would have how many tiles left on its rack? It would have uh, 7 minus 5 plus 2 would have 4. So it would have probably just 4 one-pointers. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough either. So, I mean, I, I need the bot to have a pretty lousy rack to outrun after Haze. I mean, it should outrun stuff like Icy on the L column, most likely. But yeah, Hazes would maybe outrun some more stuff. I'm just so much less likely to bingo, though. That's the problem. If I get rid of my S. So, I don't know. I think I should probably just play Haze and hope that the bot doesn't have a high-scoring play. Eh, I mean, I hit Sonari, but wasn't going to play anyway. Yeah, I mean, I don't think playing the S would have helped me, given what was in the bag. Yeah, Sonari, E-S-E-N-A-R-I-I, -I, but doesn't play. Oh well, it was a decent effort. And the bot has CCIN, so I probably want to block Sank. Although it can also go out with Cinch. Actually, if it plays Sank, is it C-stuck? That'd be funny. No. Because it has come and also Lice. So unless I blocked one of those, it wouldn't be C-stuck. Maybe I just... I wonder if I'm supposed to just, like, let it have Sank, though. I'm not even sure, because it's, it's very difficult for me to block it. And if I block it, it just goes out with Cinch. Like, I'm definitely netting well in the negatives if I do block it. I can score pretty well with Jar. For, that's 31 points. Can I go out with this, though? Nisei? I don't think Nisei is going to play... So yeah, maybe this is not so good. Anything else that would score pretty well? How about through this Y on the top right? Maybe like Ira is Nisi going to play? And ISI? Oh, actually, no. Uh, Jar is fine because I have Season. S-E-I-S-I-N from the S in Bursty. So yeah, that looks, that's looks that got to be better. I think just let him... If he, he can either go out for, with Cinch, or he can play Sank. He should probably still play Sank, but I think this is the play. Oh! Cynic! I didn't even think of that. Wow. Yeah, he had, a, he had an amazing number of threats with CCIN. I guess I was supposed to play Ira or Ira's then on the top right. Wow. Huh. Crazy. Okay, well, I wasn't winning the game either way, obviously. But yeah, another tough loss. 498 to 3... 96. And yeah, I mean, like I said, it was a good start. I just I just couldn't get anything going after hair grip. I mean, I didn't have any bingos after that. Just no big scoring plays, really. So let's see here.
Yeah, I mean, hair grip, best by mile. Ooh, am I right? That's a fun new eight there. I definitely didn't see. It's good. A-M-I-R-I-T-E is a seven as well. It's a, that's a fun one. Also airtight as well as air thing. But yeah, hair grip, best by a mile. Um, yeah, maybe I should have played fifes here. I don't know. It's 11 more points. I really liked setting up the dual S hooks though, but I really just couldn't get all that much with my S here. Oh, fog bow. Dang, I just completely missed this word. Yeah, that's so much better, guys. I mean, look how much better this is. It keeps RS, it sets up my S so nicely. Yeah, that's a huge mistake, unfortunately. Yeah, it's just a gigantic mistake. Wow. Yeah, I just completely didn't see Fog Battle. I mean, it's a very rare word to see with FGBW. I just, yeah, I completely missed it. Oof, yeah, that's an extremely painful miss. I mean, hard to say what would have happened. Obligor through the LI, that's reasonable, but I don't mind blog, like I said, just keeping it tight at this point since I do have a bit of a lead. So, yeah, I think, I mean, Fog Bow is a huge miss. This one I think is reasonable. I mean, keeps a decent leaf for trying to hit twos. And then, yeah, here Viator looks fine. And then the bot just keeps scoring. Maybe, I don't know, I guess, should I just play T's and burn the S? It's so tough to burn the S here when you have decent bingo tiles. And you're down so much. I don't know. I I think OE is probably fine. I just I don't see any other good fishes. That's the problem. I mean, no, this this can't be right. I mean, with three Ds on C, it doesn't even take an S. Maybe low knee. I don't know. I I think OE is fine. Like I hit a bingo often enough. Oh, I forgot about Deviator. Dean is clearly best though. But yeah, Deviator if uh, Freehold didn't come down probably would have been best by a good margin. And yeah, I mean, I'm just falling behind so much here, but I, I was sort of staying in it. I kept scoring pretty well with Dean and, and Wield and then Puke, but I just couldn't couldn't quite get something down. Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to play Hazes here, like I said, for the extra six points. I'm not really sure. Just, again, because in a lot of cases, even if I do hit a bingo, I'm down so much, even after Haze, that I might not win. It's tough to say. It's really tough to say, but I think Haze is probably fine. Because like I said, if the bot doesn't have Sank or Curry or something, like if it, if it has a bad enough rack and I draw a bingo, I could easily win after Haze. So I think it's fine. And yeah, and the bot just plays Bursty. I guess it sees that even though it keeps two Cs, it's not going to get stuck. And even if it maybe somehow does get stuck with a C, it's not going to lose. And there's no bingo threats. Uh, I guess... Okay, yeah, so it blocked in snare, right? Because it has to be careful. If it draws two eyes out of the bag, I could play in snare and eh, which is uh, the reason why it wanted to play on the right as opposed to something like yucca over here. Because then it could potentially lose if I do hit um, in snare. Or, yeah, I think this probably loses by a couple points if I hit in snare. So a smart play by the bot. Yeah, I should definitely play ions here. Like I guess I just completely missed Cynic through the Y. So very sloppy endgame, uh, unfortunately. And yeah, I mean, sloppy game overall, because yeah, missing Fogbow is a, it's like a 15 point mistake there at least. Extremely costly. Would have set up my S so well. Hard to know what would have happened, but yeah, just haven't unfortunately been, uh, been playing all that well lately. You know, go, going through a bit of a difficult streak over the board the last couple of games. We lost the last four, so it's a shame, but it, uh, it happens. And, uh, you know, the uh, next game is a new game, and hopefully game 83 will be better, and I'll get back on the winning streak. So, Appreciate all you guys staying with me here. Appreciate all the support. And like I said, hope to bring a better performance and a better result, hopefully, to game number 83. And I look forward to seeing you all there. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye-bye.